What do hashtags have to do with online marketing, guys? Everywhere you turn around today, when you're marketing online, everybody says you need hashtags. I'm Christine Till. I call myself the Marketing Mentress, and I have some really great ideas to share with you here about hashtags. I'm a boomer, guys. I'm learning all this stuff. I have no tech. But if you have the ability and the desire to learn new stuff and to boost your pension, you'll do whatever it takes, just like me, because <laughs> you can learn stuff, right? So here's some I, some great hashtags that I came up with. And I used chat GPT. Now, the reason you need to have uh, hashtags is because they help link you to your perfect customer, right? And so you don't use the same ash hashtags all the time. You have to change them up every week or so. Try and change a few ha different hashtags and watch how it changes the results you get from how many people are watching your posts and your videos and things, right? So remember, I'm the marketing mentress and I'm here to help you guys. <laughs> I'm mentoring you, mentoring you. <laughs> okay. These all came from ChatGPT. So listen up. This is hashtags for work from home, okay? Remote revolution, WFH success, home office hacks, telecommute tribe, work from anywhere, virtual office vibes, no more commute, desk at home, flexibility at work, WFH life balance. WFH means work from home, right? And so there's, here's some hashtags for supplement your pension, okay? Pension booster. This is my favorite one. I love it. One of my favorites, actually. I like this next one. Income supplements. Passive pension growth. Yeah. Retirement side hustle. Financial freedom quest. Pension and profits. Retire with residuals. Pension income stream. Passive earnings, and then number four, retirement. So passive earnings for retirement. Nest egg enhancement. Guys, you just need to go on to chat GP2, G GP2, <laughs> GPT and ask them uh, for help with your hashtags. I've got another page full of hashtags that I could share with you. But you just go on and do your own research and find out what the hashtags will do for you. So I, I've learned over my short life, I'm in my 70s, guys. And for the last 13 and a half years, since I was fired from my last job at 61, I, and I couldn't get another job, I had to find a way to build a supplement to my pension because I knew my pension wasn't going to be very big, right? I spent most of my kids growing up years at home monitoring and training and teaching and working with family. And we were on a ranch. And I, I had horses to break every day, cows to milk. Right, yeah, we had a, a real funny experience. And we had a, a Shetland pony. And so we had a little tiny kid's saddle that we had bought for to use on the Shetland pony. And they rode that pony all over the place. But you know what they liked riding more? Our brown Swiss milk cow had a calf, right? And it was a young heifer calf. And as it grew up, it got to be about the size of a Shetland pony and it fit the saddle. So we would put the saddle on the calf and our kids would ride the calf like a pony. <laughs> we had a lot of fun times on the ranch, but I didn't file taxes, right? Until I started going to work and I didn't start going to work until after my kids were all in school. So that has an effect on how much you're going to get in a pension, right? How much you've paid into Canada pension. We all, most everybody in Canada qualifies for the, the old age security, and that comes out of everybody's taxes. But if you've never had a job and never contributed to Canada pension, that doesn't come to you unless you have, right? But I wanted to talk to you today about the discoveries I've made in my last 13 and a half years, because I see so many people that are in the same boat as me. We're retired, supposed to be retired, yeah, and not enough money to retire on, yeah. So if you have your home all paid for, that's one way to prepare for your retirement. 
And but there are people who have their homes all paid for, but because their pensions are so small, they can't pay hydro, they can't fix the roof, they can't fix the furnace. Yeah, the house starts to go to heck, heck in a handbasket, right? So they end up losing it because they can't afford to pay the annual property taxes that are on all properties, no matter where you live in the world today, there's property taxes if on your home, if you own your home, right? And it can be in Canada anywhere from about 1200 a month to 12,000 a month, or maybe even a little bit more than that in Toronto. Toronto is very expensive, extremely expensive place to live. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've, I, I've have, I have other videos that explained that to you. But in my experience here doing learning how to do an online business, I realized that there are multiple resources online that are built in that we don't see. Yeah, and because it's digital and you don't see it, you tend to not think about it, right? So there's the search engines, right? And the search engines are, are geared to look for certain things online. And so they follow where you're doing searches. So they're gonna feed more on up to you on your computer based on what kind of searches you're doing. So if you're doing searches for, for instance, um, a blender, you wanna get a new blender, so you do research for blenders. Well, then the search engines online are going to start bringing more advertisements for blenders up on your machines, right? Your computers. and. So that's how the regular search engines work. Then there's SEO, search engine optimization. So that's based on keywords that you use that are related to the searches that your perfect customer are searching for, right? So those keywords will help bring you closer to your customers by the searches that they're doing online, as well as the searches that you're doing. And it's based on your profile compared to their profile. That's the way it was explained to me. <laughs> and then there's another search engine, and that's the hashtags. And the hashtag searches, you create yourself, right? So if you want to direct um, searches to go to a certain perfect customer, then you want to make sure that those searches are hashtagged. So say I want to look for per, for uh, reach pensioners, right? So all my hashtags have to reach out to pensioners. So I've been using things like pension booster, income supplements, passive pension growth, right? Pension supplement support, pension support strategies, and all kinds of things to do with pension, pension income tips, right? So I've been trying to help seniors my ideal customer is an empty nester or a senior so an empty nester who's looking down the nose of being a senior or an empty nester who's looking down the nose of being fired in their 50s yeah so there's all these different hashtags seo and search engine optimizations that we need to be aware of and understand that they're they're different they have little differences so if i want to create a hashtag that says marketing mentress then that's something that i am creating to direct perfect customers to come to me people who are looking for marketing solutions right so i hope that it helps you guys to understand a little bit about the different differences between hashtags and seo um and what the search engines are looking for online. I call myself the marketing mentress. Mentress is spelled M-E-N-T-R-E-S-S. -S. And I'm so thankful that I've been able to have the ability to learn some of these online marketing systems. And digital is where it's at, guys. It's going to be in the trillions in just a few years, online sales. Yeah, you're going to be really up there. They're in the billions now. There's over 5 billion people on social media. All the different social media people platforms i should say right now yeah so i hope this helps you and if you have any questions put info in the comments below and i'll make sure that i get over to you what i've discovered i use an automated marketing system digital marketing system it's all automated fun email funnels is basically what it is yeah and they have them all pre-built and all set up and all timed to go out they're all done all you have to do is connect it up to your system. And all you need is a computer, a smartphone, 
access to the internet and be teachable. And you're teachable, I'm sure, or you wouldn't be watching this video. <laughs>